I, I say to you, you got goals and dreams, you're going through some tough times right now, won't cost you nothing. Go on YouTube, find everything that I have recorded and watch it every day, hours on end. It will change your life. It will change your life. It will teach you how to become successful. It's easier now to become successful than ever before. I want everybody to think about some goals and dreams that you'd like to achieve. You represent a small number. It's a small number of people that would take the time to carve out some time to hear something that can help them to live their dreams, to become a better person, to make a difference in their community, to be able to stretch themselves and to challenge themselves. Listen to me, listen to me. You can design a life that you can be proud of where you're making money doing what you love to do, earning the kind of money that you deserve. If you spend time saturating your mind with positive material, stay away from people whose negative conversations can affect your attitude about yourself, and, and, and spend some time learning something. What is it you know today that, that you did not know yesterday? So this is the time that you want to, one, put things in your mind that will expand your mind, that will increase your belief in yourself, that will give you mental resiliency. And two, you want to secure your own future. You got to create yourself. You got to create your own job. You got to look at yourself and say, what is, what is it I want to do? What talents, abilities that I have? And if you don't have any, go to the library or, go, or Google something. This is your time. Make it a discipline. Dedicate yourself. Give yourself homework to work on your mind, to work on your health, to declutter your life, to clean your life up, to clean up your conversation, to start reading a minimum of 20 to 30 pages of something positive every day. So you're, you're choosing to do something positive. You're choosing to expose your mind to something that can stretch your mind and enhance your mind. At this stage of my life, and I, I look at people who I knew had great potential. I knew they were intelligent. So a guy that spent many years in jail, he was smart. I used to copy off his paper. Had it not been for him, I wouldn't have gotten out of school. I copied off his paper. But he was dumb. He hung around losers. He was dumb. He always found himself with the wrong people in the wrong place at the wrong time. And there are a lot of people doing that right now. Start being selective of who you give your time to. Ask the question, what value is this person bringing to me? Am I growing mentally, emotionally, spiritually, intellectually? Most people are spectators. They, they spend the majority of their time watching entertainment, sporting events, television. That's what the majority of people do. Majority of people spend their time and their money on things that provide for them relief from their life, stress. Uh, they, they look for distractions. A friend of mine, Mike Sims, he, he, he did something for a year and it, he said it changed his life. Because he earned his first million at 26. And I said, well, how? How, how did you change your life? He said, man, for one year, I never turned on television. And, and, and I said, you didn't watch television? He says, no. No. I didn't watch the news. I said, how did you find out what was going on? I said, people told me. 
and I wasn't even interested. He said, I have enough problems of my own. Why should I watch other people's problems? He said, and it changed his life. But who have imprisoned themselves by surrounding themselves with do-nothing, energy-draining people. If you have a positive mindset, if you're looking for ways to improve yourself, and if you stay away from negative, energy-draining people who have no goals and no dreams, I believe each one of you listening to me right now, listen to me, that there's something in you that attracted you to my voice. And that something in you, I call that your higher consciousness. There's a presence in you. That inner man, that inner woman, that knows that you can do more, that you can have more, that you can achieve more. And that if you honor that still small voice within you and continue to saturate your mind with positive things, continue to look for people with talents, abilities, and skills, and surround yourself with people that you can learn from, people that you can grow from, and set for yourself big goals and dreams. There's some power in pursuit of a dream. When you are pursuing a dream, you develop confidence, you develop Skills, you develop new relationships, you, you, you develop resources, and as we learn, as we grow and expand, you discover things you can do that you don't even realize right now. Most people fail in life not because they aim too high and miss, most people fail in life because they aim too low and hit. I did that for many years. I didn't think I can do what I'm doing. There are things you can do that you don't know and you've got to challenge yourself. Well, I tried some things and they didn't work out. So what? You will fail your way to success. Walter P. Chrysler failed in the, the automobile industry 42 times. But my God, look what happened to 43. You will fail your way to success. As her friend threw her father's ashes in the wind and the wind blew the ashes, she said what grabbed her and moved her so deeply was as the ashes disappeared, it was as if her friend's father never existed. Because he didn't live a life of contribution. He didn't have any projects that he was working on that would make a difference. He didn't build relationships with people that could have helped him do some of the things that he was sent here to do. No one was there to witness the throwing of his ashes but his daughter and a stranger. Most people go through life like that. They die unlived lives and I believe there's something in you that's causing you to hear my voice something in you that says I want to live there's one thing to survive and but what it takes to live and what it takes to survive is two different things most people in survival mode are caught up in weapons of mass distraction so, my message to you, and you already know it, fill your head with words that can empower you. See, if, if, if you turn off the television and turn up your life, if you let go of negative people who fill your head with head trash, and you focus your time and energy on developing another skill, you'll be surprised at what you can do. You have greatness within you. Challenge yourself, push yourself, surround yourself with people who have goals and dreams, mastermind and encourage and inspire each other. 
and you will develop a strategy and a synergy to do more than you can ever begin to imagine. You have something special. You have greatness within you. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it.